Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss about angles. So we are going to illustrate and define angles, name and identify the parts of an angle, illustrate the different kind of angles, which is the acute angle, right angle, and the obtuse angle. Now, what is angle? An angle is formed by two non-collinear rays that have a common endpoint. The endpoint is the vertex of the angle, and each ray is the side of the angle. So the example of angle is this one. This one is the what we call the vertex. So remember, the endpoint is the vertex of the angle, and this ray is what we call the side of the angle. So remember, this endpoint is what we call the vertex and this ray is the side of an angle. And remember, the symbol of the angle is this one. Now let's proceed in naming and identifying parts of an angle. So an angle is named using a number, the vertex of the angle, or the vertex with a point on each side of an angle. So for example, we have this angle. The possible names of the angle can be angle 1. So again, just what I said earlier, an angle can be named using a number. So that is first, uh, that is one of the possible names of this angle. So that is angle 1. You can call this angle as angle 1. Or we can call this angle as angle ABC or angle CBA. Or we can call it as angle B. So again, we can name an angle using a number. That's why we have angle 1 here. Or we can use the vertex with a point on each side of the angle. Which That's why we have angle ABC or angle CBA. As you can see, it is from one point on the side, then the vertex, and then the other point on the side. So that's why we have ABC or CBA. Or we can name a, the angle using the vertex, which is the vertex in this angle is vertex B. That's why we call this angle as angle B. But we cannot name the angle as angle BAC or angle BCA, or angle ACB, because A and C are not the vertex of the angle. We always write the vertex in the middle of the letters. So again, pakitandaang mabuti na kapag nag-name tayo ng angles using three letters, dapat yung vertex ay laging nasa gitna. So kapag nag-name ka ng isang angle, dapat side, vertex, side. Okay? So ganun dapat ang mag-name. Pag dinin ng anahan ng, ng angle sa, it is side, vertex, side. Hindi pwedeng mauuna sa vertex kapag nagdinin ka ng angles. Okay? Next. And this given, the vertex is B. Okay? And the sides are BA or array BA and ray BC. Again, pag sinabi nating side, magsisimula ka muna doon sa end point, papunta doon sa point na nag extend infinitely. That's why we have BA and BC. Next example. For example, we have this angle. So as you can see, hindi lang isang angle ang meron dito. So there are different angles that can be formed. So first is the angle LOV. Or you can name it as angle 1. Pwede mo siyang tawaging angle 1. Or pwede mo rin siyang tawaging angle VOL. So that is the first angle that you can found on this figure. And the next angle is this angle, which is you can name it as angle VOE or angle EOV. And the other angle that can be formed in this figure is this one, which is the angle LOE or pwede mo rin siyang tawaging angle EOL. So remember, 
we cannot name the angle as angle O because there is more than one angle whose vertex is O. Ito lang ang dapat natin tandaan na kapag name tayo ng isang angle using a vertex, dapat mag-isa lang siya or iisa lang siya. Kasi kapag katulad nitong example na to that we form three angles, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung name na angle O kasi there are more than one angle na nagmamayari doon sa vertex na O. So, kapag sinabi mong vertex O, sino sa kanila dyan? Si angle LOV ba ang tinutukoy mo? O si angle VOE ba? O si angle, angle LOE? So, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung one letter o yung vertex lang kapag more than one na yung angle na meron sa isang figure. Okay? Next. An angle in a plane separated the plane into three set of points. The angle itself, the interior of the angles, and the exterior of the angle. So, for example, we have this angle. Remember that an angle separates the plane into three sets of points. So, remember that the points that found in this part is what we call the interior points. And the points that can be found in this part are the exterior points. And this one is the angle. So, lahat na makikita mo dito ay yung points yun na nasa angle. Okay? So, remember that, ha? So, interior points are points that can be found in this part and the exterior points are the points that found in this part. So, a point is in the interior of an angle if it is, does not lie on the angle itself and it is lies on the segment whose end point are on the side of the angle. So, yun yung dapat yung tandaan. Now, let's proceed with this figure. Let us name the interior or the interior points of angle HAV. So, this angle is angle HAV. So, when we say interior of angle HAV, what are or what is the points that can be found in the interior of angle HAV. So, kung ito si angle HAV, ano yung mga points na nakikita mo dito sa loob ng or sa interior ng angle HAV? So, the answer is point S. Okay? So, that point S is the interior of angle HAV. Next is the exterior of angle VAE. So, this is the angle V, A, E. Now, we are going to give or find the points that is exterior or the exterior points. We are going to find the exterior points of angle V, A, A. So, what are the points that can be found in the exterior of angle V, A, E? So, the answer is point H and S. Next is what are the points on the side of angle HAE. So, when we say points on the sides of angle HAE, ano yung mga points na makikita sa side of angle HAE? So, the answer is HAE. Okay? Next, how about the interior of angle HAE? So, when we say interior, dito sa part na to, ano daw yung mga points na makikita mo sa interior ng angle HAE? So, the answer is S and V. Okay? Now, how about the exterior of angle HAE? So, meron ka bang points na nakikita dito sa exterior ng angle HAE? So, none. So, the answer is none. Now, let's proceed to the kinds of an angle. An angle has three kinds. So, that is the acute angle. So, when we say acute angle, it is an angle whose measure is greater than zero but less than 90 degrees. So, this one is an example of acute angle. So, remember, when you say acute angle, yung measure niya is less than 90 degrees. And next is 
this angle is a right angle. So when we say right angle, it is an angle whose measure is 90 degrees. So tandaan lagi na kapag sinabi natin right angle, yung sukat niyan, yung measure ng angle na yun is exactly 90 degrees. And the next angle is obtuse angle. When we say obtuse angle, it is an angle whose measure is greater than 90 but less than 180. So, this one is an example of obtuse angle. So, pakitandaang mabuti yung kinds of an angle which is the acute, right, and the obtuse angle. So, tandaan, when we say acute angle, the measure is greater than 0 but less than 90 degrees. And right angle, the measurable right angle is 90 degrees. And the obtuse angle is an angle whose measure is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees. So remember, 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes and it is written as this one. And 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds written as this one. So, therefore, 1 degree is equal to 59 minutes and 60 seconds. So, pakitandaang mabuti yan ha, para mas madali para sa atin ma-identify if the given is acute, right, or obtuse angle. Okay? So, for example, uh, we are going to identify if the given measure will form a right angle, an acute angle, or an obtuse angle. So, for example, we have 73 degrees. So, when we say the measure of an angle is 73, 73 degrees, so is it a right angle, acute, or obtuse angle? So, the answer is acute angle because the measure of this angle is less than 90 degrees. Therefore, this angle is an acute angle. Next is 121 degrees. Is it right, acute, or obtuse angle? So the answer is obtuse angle. So it is greater than 90 degrees. So therefore, the answer is obtuse angle. Next is 89 degrees and 60 minutes. So it is a right angle. Why is it the answer is right angle? Eh, di ba ma'am sabi mo yung right angle is 90 degrees or exactly 90 degrees remember that one degree is equivalent to 60 minutes so if we are going to round it off so yung 60 minutes na to magkatumbas to ng one degree right so 89 plus one is equal to 90 that's why this measure is a right angle next example is 90 degrees and one minute so this measure of an angle is an obtuse angle. Next, number 5 is 89 degrees, 59 minutes, and 60 seconds. So, this measure is a right angle. So, same process. Uh, remember that 1 degree is equivalent to 60 minutes and 1 minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. So, yung 1 degree natin ay equivalent sa 59 minutes and 60 seconds. So, Again, itong 59 minutes and 60 seconds are equal sa 1 degree. So, 89 plus 1 degree is equal to 90 degree. That's why this measurement is a right angle. Now, it's your turn. Answer the following question using the given figure. So, if you're my student, please answer it in your notebook. If not, try to answer it and write it in the comment section. Next lesson. Complementary and Supplementary Angles Thank you for watching! Happy learning everyone!